from Texas, and he's sticking with it. He's still he's still trying to convince people that vaccines are bad. His study was funded by a vac by a rival vaccine company that was trying to make a different vaccine from the one that he was trying to show causes autism. So that's also suspect. But he's still uh, pushing this idea with people. So yeah, you know, this is this is why scientific fraud is so bad. Once people get this idea, it's hard to get it back out of their heads again. So uh, he's running some kind of clinic in Austin now. But he's not legally allowed to practice real medicine, but he still kind of is cheating people out of money. Like people with autistic kids, he, oh, he, thinks, uh, he, thinks, he thinks he can cure autism with like a special diet or something. Because he's actually a gastroenterologist. And he thought that the way it worked was that the vaccine damages their digestive tract somehow, so they can't absorb nutrients correctly, and so that's what gives them autism. I don't know where he came up with that. Yeah, I Because like in the actual original paper, what he did with these kids who were autistic was he gave them all these colonoscopies what? to check their to check their intestines. Probably works at like Kelsey Siebold or something like that. And another okay, so another thing was like the more I read about this guy, the more horrible he was. Because because the reason I had to look this up was because I had an anti-vaxxer student a few years ago, so they were uh. saying all these things, and I had to debunk it for him, but. Uh, he actually perforated the colon of one of those kids, and that oh. kid ended up like horribly injured by oh. taking place in the study. So he's even worse than that. Than that. Like he was actually hurting these kids when he did the study, and and he broke a lot of. He also broke a lot of ethics rules. Just in general. like when you're doing a study on human subjects, there's a ton of ex ethics rules you're supposed to go through, mm -hmm. which you might have noticed if you're looking at any of this stuff for your extra credit. They're saying like your case one and case two and all these people. And so you're not supposed to puncture their intestines and stuff. <laughs> well, yeah, that might be like a good start, you know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> And, and you're supposed to give, if you're doing anything with kids, it's even more because you have to get the consent of the parents and it has to be completely informed consent. Oh, the Stanford experiment? Oh, no. Yeah, that was just bad. Yeah, uh. that's why we have all these ethics rules now because people didn't used to do that. So people well, did all that. first started off with like, people using uh, like four. back in the day, I guess it was in like the 30s or something, maybe the 40s, the uh, Tuskegee syphilis experiment. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. So you can't do stuff like that anymore, thankfully. I think on that one it was like, they had a bunch of guys who had syphilis and they basically withheld treatment from them just to see like what syphilis does to you oh, if it's no, untreated over a long period of time. Yeah, it's like with autism, um, we don't know what causes autism, yeah. but because of this Wakefield guy, we are really sure now that it's not vaccines. Yeah, yeah we got because that. Because once he came up with that idea, a bunch of other scientists started studying it, thinking, ooh, this guy might be onto something. I'm going to study it. And no one was able to reproduce his results, which yeah. is a big red flag. Like when they're doing studies with hundreds or thousands of people, they found no, no link. So uh, we know it's not the vaccines. And actually, they're getting good enough at detecting autism that now they can detect it in much younger kids who haven't gotten vaccines yet. So that's the even better evidence that it's not the vaccines. Yeah, it's starting to look like it's something the kid's born with. Yeah, mm -hmm. so like if the symptoms, like if the kid has introduced symptoms by this age, then he doesn't have it. Yeah. Otherwise, because they used to be like 